Hello, it's Giles here, my man in Champagne, and I've got another video for you today about Champagne, and this one is all about whether or not you should decant Champagne. Now that may seem rather a strange question, because if you ask 10 people, nine of them are probably going to say, what, decant Champagne? No, never heard of that, I wouldn't do that. Why would I? And that's absolutely right in the majority of cases, because let's face it, Champagne is a wine of celebration, isn't it? And you serve it uh, to start the proceedings, it's an imperative, it's served at celebrations for a lot of fun, it's an anniversary, a birthday, a wedding or something like that. And there's a whole group of people having a lot of fun, chatting and moving around. And to consider decanting Champagne in a situation like that, well frankly it would be rather pretentious, wouldn't it? And unnecessary, time consuming, so forget it. You don't even want to think about decanting Champagne. But that's not to say that you should never decant champagne. And in fact, in some circumstances, it can be a really great idea. So let's take a look at that. Now, when you think about decanting any wine, it's usually in the context of a meal, isn't it? And there's a small group of friends or colleagues sitting around a table, you're talking calmly, you've got time to chat about all sorts of things. And if you're wine lovers, you're going to be sharing your comments about the wine you're drinking. You're going to be taking a great deal of interest in that. Now that is considered to be normal practice when you're thinking about old red wines and, and good quality white and red wines. But the same thing is also true for champagne, except that we just don't think of champagne as a wine to drink through a meal. But that's changing because for the past 10 years or so, champagne makers have been at great pains to emphasize the fact that champagne is what they call un vin gastronomique, a gastronomy wine that is very well suited for drinking and enjoying throughout a meal. And in those circumstances, why not decant a champagne? Another reservation people have about decanting champagne is that they're worried that the bubbles will disappear. Again, that's a myth. You don't really want to worry about that because champagne will keep its bubbles for a, an hour, probably two hours, after you open it without losing any of that effervescence. So that leaves you the opportunity to decant the champagne before you serve it. You don't want to decant it as long time in advance as you would with a red or white wine. Let's say half an hour would be perfectly adequate for champagne. But if you're dealing with a vintage champagne or an old champagne, they're going to need a little bit of time to breathe and to open up and develop those wonderful flavors that have accumulated through the years. And half an hour to do that in a decanter is going to be absolutely fantastic. You're going to have another experience. You're going to reveal all sorts of lovely aromas that you've probably never experienced in Champagne. So I highly recommend it. So there we go. Do try that under the right circumstances. And uh, if you want to learn more about Champagne, there's lots more to find out, I can assure you. There's a link just below this image where you can go to find out exactly that. And I put the same link in the comments box just below this video. So if champagne is of interest to you, if you want to learn about wine and learn about champagne, do follow one of those links. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, bye bye.